Hello, this is Andy from VPN Mentor and for this video I'll be giving you a demonstration of NordVPN. So coming up, I will show you the desktop software, show you around, see how user friendly they are. Secondly, I'll test the speed of the VPN to show you how fast they can get. Also, I'll be testing whether they can unblock geo-restricted content like Netflix. And by the end of the video, I'll show you how reliable, friendly and responsive their customer service is. So, let's go ahead and get started with NordVPN. This VPN provider is one of the most popular services available, and it's easy to see why. First of all, not only is your IP address kept hidden, but your privacy and security is given an extra boost with double encryption, a method that utilizes the power of two servers and therefore encrypts internet traffic twice and not once. If you need to use the Tor browser, Nord lets you connect to the Tor network through a VPN server, this means that your ISP will no longer be aware that you're using Tor and data leaving a Tor exit node will be encrypted. They don't keep any logs of user data, so your contents are kept well hidden and your privacy is assured. Also, they have an abundance of servers already, in fact over a thousand in over 60 countries, and they are constantly expanding their service to include more. Finally, if you're someone that just loves multiple devices, don't worry because Nord allow you to have up to six devices connected at one time. So if you have an iPhone, iPad, PC, or even a smart TV or game console, you'll be able to use all of these devices with the one account. Software is available for most of these devices, and be warned, they come with a kill switch. It sounds dangerous, but it's really a lifesaver, and you'll find out why in just a moment. Right, okay, there are many more features than this, but time is precious, so let's move on and I'm going to show you their pricing plans. Like many providers, you have three pricing tiers to choose from, but you get all of the features and functions with any of these pricing plans. You can pay monthly, or if you want to take advantage of their discounts, then choose to take out a six month or a yearly subscription. And by the way, if you want an even bigger discount, then check this out. VPNMentor.com can get you up to 72% off a two year plan. So this means that in total, you only pay $3.29 per month instead of $11.95. So you will be billed $79 every 24 months. How do you get this? Click the link in the description, or go to the VPN Mentor Deal page to find out more. And you can get a discount on the one year plan. Again, instead of paying $11.95 per month, you can pay $4. That's a saving of almost 70%. To get this deal, it's easy. I'm showing you on the screen now. Simply enter America at the NordVPN checkout page. And again, to find out more, just head over to the VPN Mentor Deal page. Now, Back to the pricing plans and when it comes to paying you can either choose paypal credit card or any of the other alternative payment methods some of you will be glad to see bitcoin is included and this is great because it will keep you anonymous throughout the payment process whatever pricing plan you choose and even with the discounts you'll be given a 30-day money back guarantee so that's plenty of time to test drive this software and if you're not impressed then simply request your money back I'll be testing this out later on to see if they really do honour their money back guarantee. But for now, I've already gone ahead and purchased the one month plan and I paid via PayPal and my payment has been successful. So before I download the app, I want to quickly show you your NordVPN account. Here you can change your pricing package, alter your payment method and of course change your password or take advantage of their referral scheme. You can also access the download page where software is available for Apple, Windows and Android devices and you can find setup guides for other platforms. So Nord are making this extremely easy for users who prefer alternative platforms and devices. I'm using Windows 10, so I'm gonna go ahead and download the Windows app. Downloading is easy, it's fast, but when it comes to installing, give it two to three minutes and you'll be ready to go. So once installed, log into the app and you'll be greeted with a very snazzy map. So if you're bored of endlessly sifting through scroll boxes to find a server, then Nord has the remedy. You can scan this map, click on whatever location you want, and Nord will automatically connect to the fastest server available. And if you're not sure what server is best for your needs, click the connection wizard and select whichever options apply to you. Whether you want to use Nord for streaming services, or you want more security or anonymity, click this option and you'll be given a server that is appropriate for you. But let's dig deeper here and see what other features they have. Click on the servers tab and you'll gain access to various categories of servers. So for added security you can choose the double VPN servers or the anti-DDoS servers. 
Also, to access Tor over the VPN, here are the specialised servers for these. Peer-to-peer -peer users can use selected servers for those activities. And there are also a few selected locations where Nord offer dedicated IP addresses, as opposed to sharing IP addresses with others. This comes at an extra cost though, and can be purchased by contacting support. Also, below you have all the standard servers. A great feature here is that if you found a server that hasn't let you down, then remember you can click the heart icon on the left and it will be added to your favourites list. To access your favourites list, simply scroll to the top and use the drop down box to see all of your favourite servers. To connect, click connect to favourites and it will connect to the fastest available server. And if you can't find any server in the list, use the search function and a list of servers will appear for you to choose from. The settings tab contains all the basic settings for this VPN app. I mentioned the kill switch earlier, here it is, and by switching this on, you'll ensure that if your VPN connection drops out for any reason, all of your internet traffic will stop and be prevented from flowing back into the hands of your ISP. And you can even select various programs and apps to be protected with the kill switch as well. Other settings on this panel give you the option to connect to a server automatically or you can launch NordVPN when you start up your computer. They also offer their very own security package, which includes anti-malware, anti-phishing, and protection from various other threats. And if you head over to the advanced settings, you can do more. You can choose to always use UDP connections instead of TCP, or set custom DNS servers. The obfuscation setting is important for users living or traveling to countries that block attempts to access restricted foreign content. Quite often, governments will make VPN usage quite difficult, such as China. By switching on this feature, you'll employ Nod's very own connection methods that can help you to bypass tough firewalls. And finally, this app also lets you view your account, where you can change your subscription or be redirected to your account on your browser. And a system log is available to view, which comes in handy when diagnosing any technical issues. So now that I've showed you around the app, let me just quickly connect to a server, just to show you how quickly it takes to connect, and also to see that the app is actually working properly. I'm timing this connection, and I've chosen to connect to the United Kingdom, which is the closest available server that Nord has for me. So I'm pleased to see it only takes 10 seconds, which is great. Let's disconnect for now, as I'm going to start putting NordVPN to the test. So I'll test the speed and then performance of NordVPN, by seeing whether they can unblock geo-restricted content. Before testing Nord, I just want to show you that I'm no longer connected to the VPN and all my internet traffic is now being routed as normal through my ISP based in the UK. Also, the speed test will show you how fast my normal internet connection is and then I'll see what impact the VPN has on my connection. So I have a ping of 50 milliseconds, a 40.27 megabytes per second download speed and an upload speed of 23.59. Okay. As I'm based in the UK, some streaming content is automatically blocked in my location. For example, various Netflix films or TV series are only available to US residents. So, one way of unblocking the US catalogue of Netflix is, of course, to use a VPN. And by choosing a server based in the US, I can mask my ordinary IP address by obtaining a new US IP address. This will then convince Netflix that I'm based in the US and will grant me access to their catalogue. So, can Nord unblock Netflix for me? Let's find out. I'm going to search for a TV series called Lost, which is normally only available to US viewers. And therefore, it's no surprise that I get no results. So, the solution is to change the location of my IP address to one based in the United States. So just before you do this, remember to sign out, delete your cookies, and also restart your browser before returning to Netflix, as not doing so could cause issues when it comes to unblocking. Ok, let's go back to the NordVPN app. All I need is a server based in the US. So let me click the United States option and I'll be assigned one of the fastest servers available. So I'm timing this connection once again. It took 10 seconds the last time and it's taken 10 seconds again. So as I did before, let's do a quick IP leak test to see if all my traffic is being routed through the VPN. Excellent, this shows me that all my data is now being routed through the VPN and my location has now been masked. So, how fast is this server and will this speeds impact on my ability to stream content? So these results show me that this server has a ping of 125 milliseconds, 
a download speed of 25.10 and an upload speed of 18.92 megabytes per second. So a VPN will always slow your connection down and this server is quite far away from me and I've chosen it because I need to unblock Netflix so it will naturally be a little bit slower than servers that are closer to me but compared to other VPNs I've tried this one is excellent and if you simply want more privacy then just choose a server that is located closer to your location and you'll also benefit from higher speeds. And by the way, I tested other NordVPN servers and found that some of their speeds were actually more impressive than this. Okay, so will NordVPN successfully unblock Netflix? Let's find out. I've now entered the US version of Netflix and when I search for Lost, I'm glad to see that it's now appearing in the results. So let's click play and see what happens. So yes, Nord has successfully unblocked Netflix and I find that buffering time is very minimal and I can enjoy this with no hassle at all. But let me just mention here, it's not always obvious that a VPN can unblock Netflix. In fact, many will claim to be able to do this, but they often fail. In this case, NordVPN has shown us that they are more than capable at achieving this task. Now, one of the last things I want to show you is how responsive and helpful Nord's customer support is. You may remember I mentioned that there is an option to connect to anti-DDoS servers. Some novice users may be wondering what these are and why they are useful. So I wanted to use this question to test Nord's customer support. You can contact support by going to the app, click settings and then click help center. Or you can go directly to the main page and use their live chat feature. The help center contains lots of FAQs and if you can't find what you're looking for then you can submit a ticket. I sent them a support ticket, but I wasn't sure they received it, so instead I opted to contact them via their live support. They responded within two minutes, and here's their response. Basically, anti-DDoS servers may be more reliable and secure, as they have additional protection from DDoS attacks. These are the kind of attacks that are orchestrated by hackers, which can even disable a server altogether. So these servers are actually slightly more stable. But I just wanted to show you that the response from Nord's customer support was actually very swift. Now I'm going to cancel my subscription and again this will give you an idea of the quality of service Nord provides. Will they make it easy for me to walk away and do they honour their money back guarantee? So to cancel visit your account on NordVPN.com, click payments, then click cancel automatic payments. A pop up screen will appear and I'll ask you for a reason. You don't actually have to give any, just simply click continue and you'll effortlessly be able to cancel your subscription. And to receive your money back, contact support either via email or via the live chat feature on their website. Here you can view my correspondence with NordVPN's live chat support. They did ask me for a reason why I was cancelling, but they weren't forceful and I received my money back within two business days. Well, that pretty much concludes our review of NordVPN. I felt Nord's strong points were very much their security enhanced servers, like the anti-DDoS and the double VPN options. Their easy to use app with the server map makes connecting to servers quick and easy. And of course, Nord's ability to unblock Netflix is something that not every VPN can say they can do. On the downside, Nord doesn't actually tell you what cities you're connecting to, they only tell you what country. It would be nice to have that level of detail. Also, they don't actually have any way to contact support via the app itself. However, you have to go through their website to contact them ultimately. And of course, getting your money back guarantee you have to contact support again. There is no direct way to do this via your account. Having said that, why not check out what hundreds of other users have already said about NordVPN over at VPNMentor.com and you can see for yourself just how trustworthy and reliable Nord really is. So don't go just yet, to get the best deal, click the link below and you'll ensure that you get a substantial discount. So a NordVPN the best VPN around? Please let us know what you think and also don't forget to like and share this video. So thanks for watching.